Oh my god. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Alright, let's get down to business. Now, I'm actually coming back to today because I got confronted based on a video I did. Um, I think Monday. Monday, right? The booty video. The booty video. Anyway, I wasn't in the booty video. So basically, I got um, DM'd by a female friend of mine. She was like, you posted the video, and you clickbaited me, and then do a booty. I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. I was like, I don't really want to get into too much in depth about it. It's you know, so a sensitive subject. Then I thought, I was like, just booty cheeks. They just booty cheeks? Just booty cheeks. So, <laughs> I want to get in depth today about how to build your booty. So, of course, if you haven't noticed, guys, um, specifically for ladies and not for men, if you're a guy and want to build your glutes up too, I mean, personally, I like to build up my glutes because a good base helps you with, of course, keeps your hips engaged, right? Helps with stabilizing your ground abductor, adductor, right? So, of course, a strong base. Um, so, don't neglect your booty, right? Fellas out there, don't neglect the booty. Um, when, when women out there, that's pretty much all you guys want to do is build the booty. So, it is what it is. Let's get straight to it. Um, roll the intro. <laughs> but you already know what it is. Before we get started with today's video, I'm gonna need you guys to do a couple things for me. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? Subscribe. And uh, yeah. Get me to a thousand subscribers so I can feel the transmission video I did to a quarantine. But also, there's a lot of you guys actually going back in quarantine, specifically you guys in California. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. Wash your hands when you guys can. Wear your mask when you guys can. Staying in. Staying in. Staying safe. You dig. But, yep, let's get down to, to the booty. Now, here's the thing. Now, a lot of things I want to address first is what not to do, right? Um, which is the biggest thing, when it comes to mind, what not to do when trying to build your booty is the Stairmaster shit you guys do. You know that thing, you know how the man's around your knees? You do the little kickback shits. Um, stop doing that. Um, looks cool, looks fine, looks fine dandy, do you. But it's not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you let us do stupid shit. It's not working, let's be honest, it's not working. It's not gonna get you to where you wanna be. Of course, see the girl, probably see a girl with a big booty, like, oh, she's doing it, must work for her. Now, she's probably born that way and she thinks that's what got her there. It's not, it's just genetics. Now, a lot of it is genetics, right? A lot of you guys just can't build it. A lot of you guys can't build something. Obviously, you can build something, but you might not look like the girl in the photos you wanna look like, but I can get you somewhere near it. Damn, it hurts. But I can get you somewhere near it, right? Now, let's gotta get down to it. Now, let's cut with the don'ts. Don't do that, right? Um, also, don't do a lot of cardio, right? That's gonna, of course, burn a lot of muscle, right? So don't do any long-term cardio or anything that's too overextensive. Keep it nice and quick. You're probably gonna benefit more from high-intensity move, move, uh, high movements, more plyometric movements, right? Keep in mind, the more plyometric movements, more fast twitch muscle movements you do, you're gonna be able to actually build muscle faster, right? So if you don't like uh, plyo jumps, right? If you're doing squat jumps, all that, something gets the quads and glutes, Engaging fast twitch muscles are engaging. It's gonna allow you to help with building that muscle faster, right? That's one. That's a, a part of your your dues, right? But also, me personally, when I'm training some of my female clients, if they want to, of course, get their legs and hips better, um, I'm very big on concentric movements, right? But also isolated movements, like isometric movements. I like to, of course, go through the movement, but I'm very big on stretching, stressing the form in the rep it, itself. So you're not say, or so say, say for example, right? If you were to do a squat, my biggest thing is you're going to go, say you want to do a quarter squat, you want to squat if you want to go all the way in, in, in depth, having a very strong base, pushing through your hips, right? So whereas I want to think of it in different ways, say you're going from depth, pushing with your quad, hips, locking out with your glutes, right? Keep in mind a lot of planes where you want to keep your vector plane on a nice scale, going through the movement, movement for, for sure. Right. But be smart about the movement. Listen, if your body doesn't go down that far, if your knee tends to knock in, if your knee valgus is in, because you have weak hips, yada yada yada, just knees, the steps you need to take to get to that point. Right? If your spine, hips aren't flexible enough to get to a certain depth, that's fine. Go with what your body can do and start, of course, start stretching. Right? But yeah, a lot of movements you can start doing, of course, say with the squat. 
um, emphasize a lot of movements, say the squeeze of the point, really focus on where you're feeling from your quad, the transitioning from your quad to your glute. Really utilize and think about the movement. Because when you're doing squats, your hamstrings are involved as well, right? So if you want to look at a different shape, right? If you want to look at, you want to just get your butt bigger, right? But you also want it to make sense and make it look good. You want to, of course, get the butt bigger, of course, or your hamstrings and your glutes, right? You want to idealize what do you look look like, right? So rather you're doing like say, good mornings or RDLs, right? Stuff so like deadlifts, a lot of movements you want to do, right? whatever movements you want to do, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like you work best best for you, do those move movements. But don't be scared to go heavy. Because one thing I do see a lot of you guys doing these movements, but you're using low weight and you're just knocking out reps. So you're just knocking, knocking out reps. Great, you're knocking out reps, but I need you guys to push past certain boundaries because in order for you to build the muscle, it has to be under stress. 20 pounds or RDLs is not very stressful depending on the lady. Everyone's different. But if you're knocking out, if you're able to hit rep 50 and you're breaking a cool little sweat, you're not hitting enough reps. Not that you're hitting enough reps, you're not hitting enough weight, right? Don't be scared to go up in the weight, right? Don't be afraid to, of course, venture outside the box and work in diff different planes, right? Linear is important, right? Linear is important, but also transverse, transversal planes are important as well, right? Also, the lateral planes are important as well. Now, of course, we've all seen the rear kickback, the lateral, right? We've all seen those different move movements. Now, of course, you want to say, if you're utilizing a band, you want to start where people have it on the hip, Right, they say they have the weight on 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 their hip. I find that's cool. Do what you rather 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 do. But what I feel would be more effective, efficient, safer than standing up. If you were to say you have a pulley machine, right? If you ever have a pulley machine, I want you to have it attached to your knee, or well, not not to your knee, to your ankle. And I want the resistance going the opposite direction. Say it's from here, you're gonna go in this direction here. If you're specializing specifically utilizing your left knee, right, your left leg, right, but what I want you to do is I don't want you to start parallel to your hip, right, I want you to start cross, right, and engage and going, going over, right, if you want to engage more of the glute, not just the max, but the medius and the minimus at the exact same, same time, or right? engaging more, having more stretch to allow more contraction, because I don't want you just repping it out, one of the things I do want you to do is when start starting out, is I'm very big on each rep you do, it's going to be very slow, and control even when it's heavy, you're going to still push and hold it for come back, push and hold it before come before come back. Because with every with building a good muscle, feeling it is very important. Sometimes when you get to a level like me, personally, just sometimes I just certain muscles I don't feel, but they 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 still build. Like for example, I don't feel my back as much, but yes, building my back is probably one of my biggest strong suits. But I, I don't feel it when I do work it out. Right, very rarely do I feel like I have to do, like, I would say I have to do pullovers for me to actually feel my lats. Other than that, I don't really feel it as much. Right? But yeah, back to it. I want you guys to focus on the move, move movements, whatever kicking back movements you're, you're doing. Start off slow, go, hold it before coming back. But also, keep, keep in mind, become slower on the eccentric, on the, on the eccentric portion over the concentric portion. Right? So, what I want you guys to do is, of course, go with the movements, focus on, on the movements, break through the movements, go with what you feel is best for you. All right? Now, keep in mind, there's also a lot of people who do a lot of diff diff different things. Like, of course, there's pressing movements you can do for your glutes, but also don't neglect your quads. So, what I also would suggest, of course, go with your hack squats and your leg pressure machines. Now, as you know, right, if you were to look at the leg press platform, right, the higher your, your feet would be, you're engaging more hamstring and glutes. Right, lower, it'd be more quad base. Right, closer, more quad uh, outers. You can you 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 utilize more glue. Right now, we're not gonna get in depth on whether your feet this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Don't worry, worry about that now. So with with the basics, whether you're going higher or lower, closer or farther out. Right, keep it basic. Right, but what I also don't want you guys doing is, of course, you guys are turning on, on the on the machine and p p kicking. With that, I don't want you guys putting too much strain on, on your spine and on, on your hips. A lot of movements you guys can do if you want to do that as well. If you want to just do a lunge when you're on one leg and going in depth and pushing with just that glute, do that. Be a lot more safer doing that than if you were to utilize that that machine. Because guy, you might be doing more harm than good. Remember, there's a lot of pros and cons to each movement. 
Wait them out before you do it. Right? Now, apart from that, the biggest thing I want you guys looking at above all else is just your visual visual goal. What do you want to look at? What do you want to look like? What is your your goal? If you have a picture of a girl or whomever you want to look like, have that up. Have that in which you we want to look like and do that. All right now, glutes. Right. Keep in mind, don't neglect your, your quads. As you know, lunges are super important. R R RDL is super important. Um, lunges, as you know, is super important. Did I say that? Squats are super important. Right? Very, very important to get your quads engaged. If you allow your, your glutes to engage. You don't want any muscles to be overactive. Because that's when it's going to also lead to um, injuries. Overactive muscles and underactive muscles. You want everything to be pretty balanced and have a good feeling of how your body works. Now, also, don't forget your hamstrings. Rather you want to do your hamstring curls uh, prone, sitting, or you want to do it on, on, on the bench and you're like a dumbbell, or you want to do some type of good morning type movement, do what you want to do, but still make sure you're doing the movements. What is sufficient amount of weight that's going to force you to have to want to grow, right? So don't neglect the fact that your body is going to want to have to grow, or you have to make it want to have to grow, meaning you have to utilize um, and change it up, right? You really want to change it up based on the weight, the reps, the sets, right? The movement, the motion. You want to get out of the hang of being stuck in your body's natural economy of, mo of motion, meaning it's something that it's been doing for such a long time that it comes accustomed to it, like walking. Right? We all know how to walk. We've been doing it for a long time. It's not very tedious. That's something that's, of course, out of the ordinary for us. It's something our body has been doing for a long period, period, period of time. Now, with that being said, if you guys want to do certain movements, slow down the pace, right? Rather you want to work on pause reps, or you want to do partials, or even a lot last time, after a while, I have my clients do um, pyramid uh, 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 sets, right? We are either going up in reps, right? Lowering your, your weight, or going down in, in, in reps and increasing your weight, right? That as well as uh, is drop sets and etc. And I keep you want to get more in depth in drop sets. Probably do a whole other video on the on how to implement those correctly and beneficially. I won't of course put too much too much information into this video video because I want to make sure it's strictly just booty videos. This is just a booty based video. Just trying to build up from the hips, right? Build from the waist down, right? Or whatever you guys want to do from there. But yeah, that's gonna be a very big gist of it. It's focus on sufficient amount of weight, all right? Make sure it's a correct movement and motion. Make sure you're changing it up. Make sure you change whether it's tempo, whether it's the way, whether it's the amount of reps, the amount of sets, the motion, the movement. Make sure you're changing it up, right? Cook any other y'all that stuff. Is your body gonna get better based off being comfortable or uncomfortable? Uncomfortable, right? So remember, those will be y'all probably my step for allowing you to build up. Right, of course, some of the movements you want to do, yes, kickbacks, lunges, right? Um, squats, a lot of them is going to be super important for your body because those are going to be very basis of I'd rather you guys focus on compound first before the accessories. Before any workouts you guys do, focus on your compound before you guys do your accessory work. So compound, accessory. If there's days you want to do just accessory movements, do that perfectly fine. But I'm going to say it's going to do a lot better if you work on your compound, have that base of your compound movement first and then build up with your accessories from there. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope that I ain't clickbait, I ain't clickbait, y'all did this, this time. Giving y'all the knowledge on uh, buddy. I want to do workouts in the gym to show you guys this, but it's super hard, especially when with a pandemic going on right now, to even get people to be like, okay, to come to my gym and just work out. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, um, like the video, comment, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram at, you know, get fitness underscore renegade on Instagram. And yeah, remember, get this channel to the thousand subscribers so I can reveal my quarantine transformation video. Um, yeah, comment down any, any, any thoughts if I miss anything. Um, if you want me to implement something in the next video, um, whatever the case may be, let me know. Let me know. I gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta know. But yeah, guys, love you guys. Stay safe. Watch hands if you need to. Stay indoors and stay contacted. Stay connected with me if you need to talk to me. Either come down or DM me. I'll respond back when I can. But yeah, guys, remember, today is not the past and it's not the future. It's the present because it's a gift. Now live it to the fullest.